hello guys and once again welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how you can export posed morph targets in our case there uh, they will be corrective morph targets and uh, modify them in zbrush right so we're gonna go uh, the same uh, we're gonna select target animation and we will grab a pose from here and uh, we will grab a pose by enabling an animation curve and in our case it's gonna be Joe and we will enable the control expression we get this artifact and we want to fix this in ZBrush in this case right instead of ZBrush you can use blender or whatever Maya doesn't matter and um, yeah let's uh, create the bone snapshot Joe open and now uh, let's go to the main window and select the pose go open and now we want to export the corrective morph target associated with this uh, pose and edit in edit it uh, in zbrush right so we will go by Joe open and it's this one right so we're gonna right click on it and export morph target as obj so we will call this joe open corrective so we can easily identify it right and uh, let's click save and now let's open zbrush okay now uh, zbrush is open and we have to import uh, the obj exported by mesh morpher We'll put it here, edit, and uh, okay, let's smooth a little bit this area. And this is gonna uh, look, uh, this is how it's gonna look only when Joe is open, right? You have to invest more time that, uh, than me in it, but. Uh, you know you understand uh, what it has to be done and i'm gonna save it as jaw open corrective modified okay now we can grab the name because we will overwrite this and we can grab the name of this just just press on rename if you click on rename and then you can copy the name from here it's pretty fast and uh, we have to go to create from mesh files. If we, we have the bone snapshot selected uh, in the pose uh, field here, when we go to create from mesh files, the bone, uh, the bone snapshot will be applied here as well. So now that uh, we have this uh, pose, we can select the base uh, OBJ that we exported we, that has uh, the defect here, which is the same as this one. And the modified uh, smoothed uh, file that we exported from ZBrush, right? So here is the difference. So this is how it currently looks in uh, in sequencer. You can see uh, the chin is messed up when the jaw is open, but if the jaw is closed, we don't have the same problem, right? So uh, we only have to fix it when the joy is open. So now let's uh, go back to Mesh Morpher. Okay, and uh, let's uh, enter new morph name here. And we, we will overwrite this corrective morph targets, the morph target that gets enabled with uh, the control rig, right? So let's press OK. It will uh, tell us that uh, the morph target already exists and uh, if uh, we want to overwrite it. Okay. And now let's test it out. When uh, the joy is open, we don't get the same artifacts, right? The problem is solved. And uh, yeah, this is it. And uh, this is how you modify 
uh, posed morph targets uh, in uh, ZBrush or Blender or whatever. This is the workflow. So see you guys and uh, bye.